One of the commonest false conclusions is this. Because someone is true and honest towards us, he speaks the truth. Thus, a child believes in the judgments of its parents, the Christian in the assertions of the founder of the church. There is, likewise, a disinclination to admit that all that which men have defended in earlier centuries with sacrifice of happiness and life were nothing but errors. Perhaps one says they were stages of truth. But what one thinks at bottom is that if someone has honestly believed in something and has fought and died for this belief, it would be altogether too unfair if what had inspired him had actually been no more than an error. Such an event seems to go against eternal justice, which is why the heart of sensitive people again and again contradicts their head and decrees there absolutely must exist a necessary connection between moral action and intellectual insight. Unhappily, it is otherwise, for there is no such thing as eternal justice.